What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Minecraft video. I got something crazy to show you guys today, so check this out. We got some TNT here on some slime blocks and some craziness going on. We hold this lever. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, you, you see this correctly. You're watching it. You're seeing it. We got infinite TNT duplication going on here on <laughs> Minecraft console edition. Guys, this is crazy. Oh my gosh. So I just figured this out. I was watching a video by uh, Pi and then all the letters of Pi. That's his YouTube name. It's like P-I, then all the letters of Pi. Um, so check him out on YouTube. I'll put a link to the description of his original tutorial for this on PC version. Um, I had to adapt a bunch of stuff to make this work on console. Um, and it's not as awesome because you cannot AFK in the same manner um, that you can on the PC version. But, you know, with a little bit of fan dangling, I've actually gotten this to work um, for console edition. Uh, it's not AFKable, but it is, you know, automatic and stuff, uh, semi-automatic. You can see here, I've been doing it a little bit and it works so well, oh my gosh. So let me show you what I did to this. So we got our original design here, we got this thing. Um, this is the original design by Pi. Uh, this little dealio right here with a little piston on the side like you saw. Um, but what I changed is I took away, he had a bud switch up here to make this thing, um, you know, do a bud switch every time. Uh, but I, I removed that because we need these melons here. I'll show you why. We don't have the melons there. We try this again. Watch what happens. See that? So it breaks the machine. And then when you try it again, it, uh, yeah, it doesn't duplicate the TNT. So anyway, I had to put these melons on top, which means I had to change the design. So I had to add all of this stuff over here to actually be able to move this thing from right to left. So let me show you. So we're sitting here, we're holding the lever, we're duplicating our TNT, everything is gravy. We're digging a huge perimeter hole. Let's uh, finish that off, yeah, yeah, yeah. Aha, uh -huh. there you go. So we dug our hole, we're ready to move it. So what we do, I'll just show you from out here. We can actually do it from up here on top of this. Um, in survival, but what you want to do is you want to grab like a ton of piston or a ton of levers, a ton of buttons, um, and you're going to stand up there. And so, what you do, the way to uh, move this from this way to that way, is you want to depower that, and so nothing is powered. And you want to place a button, you're going to move the bottom piston right like that, place another button, move this deal over, and then another button move the whole thing over. You see what I'm doing here? So the buttons break, but they're cheap, so you can just keep on placing them and keep on pressing them. And then I like to do this twice. So it's moved over two blocks so far. And then on the third one, let's do this over again. Huh? Then on the third one, we want to put down a lever. And then we're going to hold the lever, and that means that we get to start digging our new hole. And so I go over by three blocks every time. Get wrecked, Enderman! Uh, because this is like kind of like the, the size of the explosion. Um, so you're also going to want to wait a little bit for the game to like catch up because sometimes there's a lot of lag uh, when you're doing this. So just make sure to give it a little break like halfway in between or something like that. And yeah, you can just keep on going and keep on going and keep on digging and blowing up everything. Oh my gosh. And then once you're done, you can just keep on moving it. So yeah, so this is more of like a con conceptual video like this kind of just show showcasing the fact that we can actually do this um, on console Minecraft. Uh, here's a really quick, simple way to like, you know, build this thing. Um, you know, so you can actually move it around uh, and, you know, continue to reuse it. Uh, but, you know, like I said, it's not AFKable, it's not automatic. So maybe with some cool uh, technical know-how and some fan dangling from somebody watching this video, they might be able to figure out how to make this more automatic. So, yeah, anyway, that's a challenge for you guys to figure out how to do that, how to make this, uh, you know, move on its own so you don't have to sit here and hold the buttons and all that stuff. I'm sure there's a way, but anyway, let me show you how to build this. It's a little bit complicated to put together, and um, there's a lot of little pre-steps you need to take, a lot of priming steps, so yeah, let's get right onto it. I'm going to show you how to build it. I'll be RB. All right, so this is a little weird, but we're going to start off with Sticky Piston, and we're going to make a little U-shape out of our slime blocks, like so. Detector rail with the minecart on top. It's got to be a detector rail. That's what's going to give us our signal. So then we're going to do a little bit of weirdness over here. We're going to put a block like so. I'm going to want to get a slab out. Uh, slab on the bottom. Slab on the top. Break the block. Detector rail. So we got a detector rail here with our minecart. Yeah, here with the minecart. Detector rail down there. Words, brain. We're also going to want to put a slime block here. Break that slime block. TNT break that slime block. So now we're ready to combine these two things together. So let's put a redstone. Mm -hmm. So now this TNT has been bud, bud powered, right? Uh, this is actually, you know, should have exploded it, but it has not because it was pushed into place with a piston. So now 
we are going to put a melon block above here. This is going to prevent your cart from flying out like you saw earlier, so let's retract it. Oops, we forgot a step. Let's put this back. Don't do what I did. Slime block here, slime block there. Now we're ready to retract it, so pop it. Aha! All right, I'm going to drink some night vision. I'll show you the next step of this. Okay, so now to move this whole thing to the left, I'm going to put a sticky piston like so, a couple of slime blocks, and another sticky piston with a normal piston down here. And slime block. A block right here on the side of that slime block. <laughs> it's just remembering how this all goes together. And then one right here. Like so. Alright, there you go. So there's your little setup. So let me show you how to you know work this one more time in case you forgot. Levers and buttons. Button here. Move it away. Button there. Grab the other part. Button here. Grab the whole device. And the TNT duplicates once. Cool, so that's all your whole thing done. Now it's just a matter of, uh, you know, you're up here and all you gotta do is, you know, hit the button, hit the button, hit the button, the whole thing moves over one block. Pretty cool, guys, so that's how you uh, build it, that's how you operate it, and as far as, you know, the rest of the deal, uh, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys to figure out how to automate it. I'm gonna keep working on this, hopefully, uh, you know, I'll post another video if I can, um, you know, come up with any other you know, cool ways to have this work. Um, there is one more design, which I figured I'd show you just because, you know, it's related. So let me do that. Let me get ready for it. And I'll show you the other thing I was going to show you. So there's a different way that you can pull this off that, uh, you know, it doesn't actually dig completely all the way through before it moves over. It'll just pass over one time. You can see here, I made a couple passes with this machine um, and it doesn't do the, the best job for perimeter digging because you gotta keep on building new ones every time you wanna use it. But anyway, we're gonna start off the same way, but this time with a normal piston. This is really great, guys, for like a PvP server that you wanna just troll everybody with. Uh, you know what I mean? If you're if, if everybody's cool with just getting absolutely annihilated. So this is what you do. Make this little uh, shape right here. TNT, couple fences. You're gonna wanna put a non-standard rail, so not a normal rail, but any of the other ones. Detector rail here with the mine cart. Then let's see, what's the next step? We're gonna want to put a redstone block. Oh, not not yet, we don't want a redstone block yet. We wanna actually do sticky piston, sticky piston, slime block, redstone, then a normal piston like so. All right, now move the whole thing over. Now we're gonna wanna do redstone block up here. And I think it's ready to go, so let's uh, start this bad boy off. Oh, baby, so for some reason, the minecart glitch doesn't actually come into effect as long as it's just going in one direction. It's when it actually pulls it back is when that glitch occurs. So here, you can see we got a fully functioning TNT duplicating flying machine that just lays a line of TNT down over the ground. Guys, this is so crazy. So you could potentially make like a whole array of these and then set them off all at once and you could just have a giant sweeping, just huge amount of TNT going down. Uh, you could probably crash your server like this. But anyway, that was pretty awesome, guys. That was the last thing I'm going to show you today. So uh, as far as implications and what you can do with this, there's all kinds of stuff you can do. But um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm going to try and use this to dig a perimeter uh, in the end, hopefully remove like an entire end island. It's going to be a big project. Um, I'm kind of anticipating that I'm going to get like halfway through <laughs> and then uh, get bored of, of doing this. So we'll see how far I get. Maybe I'll get half the island something like that but anyway guys that's gonna do it for me today let me know if you liked it let me know what you thought about this crazy contraption let me know how you're gonna use this if you are see you in the next video everybody have a great day bye bye